ductwork, piping, and heat pumps. International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, courtesy of Comfort Works Incorporated, Goldsby, Oklahoma. The first step in installing ductwork is to read the floor plan and locate the supply and return vents. Return and supply boots are added based on design and customer's wishes. Once return and supply boots are installed, then ductwork is added, sealed, wrapped, and properly supported. Metal ductwork is sealed with mastic and allowed to dry before in fiberglass insulation is installed. Ductwork is wrapped with insulation and isolated from vibrations. Support straps are used to keep suspended ducts from bending and collapsing. Utility closet first floor has piping to the ground loop and to the heat pumps on the second floor. flushing and purging connections to the ground loop and to the heat pumps on the second floor. Two two-inch supply and return polyethylene pipes run through the attic to the heat pumps. The two-inch pipe is reduced down to one-inch lines to the heat pumps. A two-ton heat pump serves the upstairs zone. This is the direction of flow for the pump. the circular pump flow direction. A four ton heat pump serves downstairs kitchen zone. An air vent Pressure temperature port used to calculate heat pump performance. The four ton heat pump has two circular pumps. Notice two ball valves on either side of the pumps for ease of changing pumps and other control. Notice reducer and reducing T for circulating pipes. The three ton heat pump for the third zone in the bedrooms. Pressure temperature port used to calculate heat pump performance as fluid enters unit.
pressure temperature port used to calculate heat pump performance as fluid leaves unit. Once heat pumps, piping, and ground loops are installed, it is time to flush and purge the system. Ductwork piping and heat pumps. International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, ICSPA.OKState.EDU, courtesy of Comfort Works Incorporated, Goldsby, Oklahoma.